in the first day of the menstrual period in one of the ovaries and all site is selected pick up to develop and during this cycle this oocyte is contained within a fluid filled sac called the follicle usually the cycle of a woman is approximately 28 days and in the mid cycle in the 14th day of the cycle from the first day of the last period the follicle is about here or here developed and is about 18 to 20 millimeters and is ready to rupture this rupture is the so-called ovulation the major oocyte is released from the follicle and the oocyte is picked up here you see the fallopian tubes the fimbria the fimbria pick up the oocyte and the oocyte goes inside the fallopian tube and if sperms are present when the oocyte travels through the fallopian tube usually here the process of fertilization takes place thousands of sperm cells meet only one oocyte here in the fallopian tube and if the oocyte takes one of them inside it then the fertilization has begun has happened has taken place and so the pregnancy has begun so for a pregnancy to occur the oocyte must be present and ovulation must have been occurred and the oocyte must be pick, picked up through the fimbria of the fallopian tube and transported here this whole way must be open so that millions of sperms can travel here inside to the fallopian tube but millions of sperm come here and only thousands of them meet the oocyte which is released from the follicle the fertilized oocyte goes through the fallopian tube to the endometrium so here usually is implanted and after after implantation the hormone beta hcg will be secreted and goes to the bloodstream and can be detected with blood beta hcg detection tests and later can be also detected with urinary tests